Forget the nonsense. This video is based on actual scientific data. I'll be discussing whether gender selection without IVF is possible by adjusting your diet. Some people call it gender selection or sex selection. Others call it family balancing. Whatever it's called, some couples would like to influence whether their next baby is a boy or a girl. We know this can be done using IVF, but what if you don't want to or can't afford to do IVF? It turns out, there is some high quality science that shows what you eat can influence your chances for having a boy or a girl. To understand this, first, let's talk about human evolution. Humans have evolved in certain ways to increase the chances that their children will survive after birth. Having enough to eat is a big part of this. When women don't have enough to eat, it is unlikely their offspring will have enough to eat and therefore less likely to survive. So women have evolved so that during times of starvation, it turns out that the amount of energy needed for a woman to carry and deliver a boy is higher than it is needed for a girl. In mammals other than humans, having the availability of lots of food around the time of conception results in more males being born. So could the same thing happen in humans? To answer this question, scientists in the UK studied several hundred healthy women who were looking to get pregnant. These women kept food diaries from before they got pregnant, early in pregnancy, and later in pregnancy. Then they did a bunch of analysis, and here's what they found. First. A woman's diet at the time of conception was important in predicting the gender of their babies. Their diet early and later in pregnancy did not matter. Second, the amount of energy obtained from food around the time of conception made a big difference in determining gender. If you divided the amount of calories they consumed in three groups, women in the highest group of calories were 50% more likely to have a boy than women in the lowest third. Third, there was no specific vitamin or mineral that was more or less likely to produce a boy or a girl. However, they went on to test whether certain foods were important. After analyzing 133 different food items, they found only one food type was correlated with the gender of the baby. And that food item was breakfast cereal. Yep, you heard me right. The odds of having a male infant were 87% higher for women who consumed one bowl of breakfast cereal daily compared with those who ate one or less bowls of cereal per week. It's also important to understand what factors didn't matter. It didn't matter how much the women weighed at the time of conception or what percentage of body fat they had. It didn't matter how old they were and it didn't matter if they took folic acid supplements before pregnancy. In the past 50 years, there has been a small decrease in the percentage of boys born in industrialized countries. At the same time, there's been an increase in the number of people skipping breakfast. For example, in the USA, the proportion of adults eating breakfast fell from 86% to 75% between 1965 and 1991. And for younger girls, the decline was from 85 to 65%. So our Infertility TV bottom line, if you want to increase your chances for having a boy, eat one bowl of some breakfast cereal every day. If you want to increase your chances for having a girl, don't eat a bowl of breakfast cereal every day. Good luck. And if you try this, leave a comment to let us know what happened and did it work. So this method can increase your chances for having a boy or girl baby. But if you are dead set on having one specific gender and need to guarantee the outcome, then there really is no other choice but IVF with embryo testing. Watch this video to learn more about the most successful method of gender selection. But before you go, be sure to like this video. If you have questions or an idea for a future episode, leave it in the comments. And you should definitely subscribe to Infertility TV now for new episodes weekly. It's like having a fertility specialist in your phone.